Okay, we're going to look leading or line spacing. And this is the gap between your lines. Now, traditionally, this is worked out using a formula of 120% of the font or the typeface height. Also, it can extend to 145%. Now, we're going to have a look at how that works. So, what we've got here is we've got some text. Um, we set it at 12%. Okay, I've got the calculator here and I'll work it out manually. Okay, we're going to take 120 times 12 divided by 100. Now that's worked out the percentage for 120% of the uh, typeface or font's height and it's coming up with 14.4. Now if we go back over here, we will see up at the top where it's got the properties for the uh, font and then it's got the leading or line spacing. It's coming up with here with 14.4, which is exactly the same as what we've calculated. Okay. So let's see what happens if we um, do it to 18. So we're going to take 1, 2, 0, 120 times 18 divided by 100. We have 21.6. Now if I come back to InDesign in here, I select... Um, my text, I come up here, I change the font size to 18, and lo and behold, it has 21.6 as the leading height. Now you can adjust that more if you wanted or less, but this is a ratio which you know is comfortable on the eye, and this is a traditional way of working out. At the end of the day, in design, it is totally up to you what you do in the line spacing, but as you can see, that's the equation you can manually use for working out your line spacing or leading, which is exactly the same as how InDesign works it out for you.